Hi there. So I've recently read the Guardian article, which is about the Northman movie, the new film. It says that the Vikings were not white, they were biracial, and they were also not men. They were different genders, including women. This is far left lies. That is all it is. Now, some might say I'm triggered, and you'd be right, I am, and rightly so, as far as I'm concerned. Now, I'm from Yorkshire, and the Vikings are a massive part of our history, and they strongly influenced who we are and everything about this part of the world. The fact is, they were white, and they were men, and it is not racist to say that. If they were biracial, where is the DNA signature? We'd see it in the uh, modern population of places, uh, places where the Vikings went to. We just have to take Iceland. Uh, now that actually has, I think it's about a third, but they have a strong Irish DNA signature because the Norwegian Vikings, as they went across to Iceland, they took the um, Irish slaves, or maybe not all slaves, but they took Irish people with them. And they make up a big part of the genetic makeup. But the Celts are classified as white. So when the author of a Guardian article is referring to the Vikings as biracial, I don't think he's referring to the Celts. I think he means maybe Africans, North Africans, Middle Eastern, wherever. Now, yes, the Vikings travelled far and wide in search of trade and plunder. We know Harald Ardrada was a mercenary for the Byzantine Empire um, before he was killed at the Battle of Stamford Bridge in 1066, which is actually just down the road from me. Um, that more or less signalled the end of the Viking Age. Now, this article would be funny if it wasn't so dangerous and deceitful. And I don't believe it's just ignorance or delusion. I believe it's outright lies, deliberately told to further an ideological agenda. I've talked about this before on videos. Um, their thinking is... You are all horrible, evil, racists and white supremacists and misogynists and I hate you. You hold your culture, your history um, and your customs dear. It gives you a sense of pride and passion. Well, I'm going to attack it, tear it down, lie about it to demoralise you. And so you lose a sense of self. The motivation is hatred, not compassion. And it's really dangerous because it means the truth can just be done away with. Um, anything can be accepted as truth based on people's political and ideological agendas. Now, there's some brilliant books out there on like the Vikings, the Anglo-Saxons, by historians like Magnus Magnusson and Frank uh, Stenton. They spend their lives studying this stuff and bringing it to the public attention and uncovering our history. And this says all that can be done away with should you have a different agenda and that doesn't line up with it. They could just destroy all that work, ban the books, burn the books, replace history with whatever they want it to be. And that is really dangerous dangerous and it cannot be allowed to happen it's not racist to say the vikings were white and were men any more than it's racist to say the samurai were japanese men or the zulu were black men it's just historical fact it's not racist and what is even more alarming and disturbing than the article itself is 
This is published by The Guardian. It's incredible. It's supposed to be a reputable publication. And by doing this, it just shows it's nothing of the sort. It's a propaganda machine for far left ideology. That means the truth is irrelevant. Anything goes in pursuit of the ideology and furthering that agenda. They're prepared to tell anything and they're more than happy to tell lies if that's what it takes. Um, I've left a link below and you can read the article yourself and see what you think and leave comments. And yeah, just do your own research. There's plenty of stuff out there. It's just pretty much common sense. Anyone with half a brain knows this is just absolute nonsense.